Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. So here we have two LG G2s, and as you can probably guess by the box, one of them's from AT&T. Can't tell which though, right? So one of these is the uh, European version, one is the AT&T version. They are exactly alike, almost exactly alike, uh, physically. So same look, same feel, just down to a couple logos that have changed. Otherwise, these look and are exactly the same. The buttons have not changed if you've seen the Verizon one, uh, the Verizon LG G2 changed the buttons, right? So at t is not. You just got a couple different logos. I actually kind of like that LG logo better, but whatever. So let's focus here on the uh, at t one. Now, something I want to point out, these edges are going to feel rough when you first take it out of the box, right? The European version is the same way. It's got plastic everywhere. You want to be sure to peel all this off. Otherwise, it's going to feel like you have these sharp edges and it's not put together properly. So uh, be forewarned that there's a lot of plastic on this phone. You want to take it off. So otherwise, here you go. 5.2 inch display. You've got really cool uh, quick icons down at the bottom. I love LG's lock screen on this. It's 1080p. It's 5.2 inches. It's really nice. You still have lock screen widgets. Right, so you can go uh, straight to the camera that way if you desire. Here's how uh, at t has it set up. Got uh, definitely a few icons here on the home screens. What's interesting is at t has gone with just three home screens here. Uh, other versions have five, so this one has just three, and you can spin around and we see how quickly it's running. Yes, this has Snapdragon 800. You see you've got some uh, at t icons, and there's a giant at t folder right there on the home screen. So uh, there's definitely some at t software going on on this bad boy. Here's a look at all the other software you got on here. Again, a whole bunch of at t software. Basically, if at t has its name on it, it, you're gonna find it here it's everywhere uh, see what else we got some you know different contacts a lot of this is LG software as well right but again a lot of AT&T stuff going on Wi-Fi the my AT&T app so uh, yes there is a bit of bloat on here there's quick remote that's a cool thing that uh, LG threw in for the uh, IR port Wow, that's a lot of software. <laughs> so uh, here is the menu button. Again, we've talked about this on the uh, European version. So you've got on-screen buttons, but they act a little differently. You gotta hold down home to get to your multitasking because LG has its own multitasking thing. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of tips that will show up. You can, yes, double tap. This is called knock on. So you tap twice in a blank spot on the home screen to uh, turn the display off. That's cool. We've talked about this for a while. Here is the notification pull down. And just like the European version, it's hugely busy. Look at all the stuff up top. Not a whole lot of room for notifications, right? Uh, you can, in fact, turn Q slide off, which is good. That clears up a room, uh, a row, if you need a little more space. Uh, there's slide aside. That's LG's uh, interesting multitasking implementation. So, uh, take a look at the settings menu. AT&T has left it alone. Verizon changed it. Uh, it's done up in a tab formation. So things are going to be slightly different than you're used to, right? They're in different places. Uh, you know, you'll figure it out soon enough. Let's look at the about phone. There's the G2 software information, Android 4.2.2, just like we expected. Uh, as long as we're here, let's go up and look at the storage just to make sure. So this is a 32 gigabyte device, and you see we've got about 23 actually left over to use, 23, 24. Uh, so, you know, definitely could be worse, and at least it's pretty clear about it. It's not like you've got a 16 gigabyte version with you know half left over so again here is a look at the uh the home screens you've got all those buttons you can change the buttons up but you can't actually go back to a normal button configuring i don't know it's weird you get used to it um otherwise i like this phone a lot it does look a lot like the uh european version again nothing has really changed and to me that's a good thing i think they've they've done it nicely uh the sides of the phone no buttons right everything is on the back you got your volume rocker and your power button nothing on the side at all they haven't changed the bottom so it's a good look uh let's take a quick look in the box here just to do it because i know you kids like to see that stuff so you've got a little bit of a yeah a little uh, the legal stuff, you've got a USB cord and a charger, and that's it. Now, what you don't get, and I want to mention this because we talked about it at the launch, you don't get these cool uh, earbuds that LG has to take advantage of the 24-bit uh, 192 sound on this phone. So US phones do not get that. I know we talked about it at the uh, launch announcement in New York. Otherwise, here is your quick look at the uh, brand new AT&T LG G2. That's it. We'll see you later.